Are you trying so hard to lose weight but nothing happens? We are gonna fix it today. What's up everyone, my name is Adler and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you why all your efforts for losing weight are useless and 10 common mistakes that you are doing. Undoubtedly, losing weight can be challenging for some people. Sometimes you might feel like you are making healthy lifestyle choices, yet you are still not getting the results you want. You may in fact be following misguided or outdated advice. This may prevent you from seeing the changes you are looking for. Here are 10 common mistakes people make when trying to lose weight. Let's jump into the first mistake, which is focusing only on the scale. That's right. It can be common to feel like you are not losing weight fast enough, despite following a healthy lifestyle. It's important to remember that the number on the scale is only the measure of weight change. Weight is influenced by several things, including fluid fluctuations and the amount of food that remains in your system. In fact, weight may fluctuate around 2 to 4 pounds over the course of a few days, depending on factors like how much food and liquid you've consumed. Also, hormonal changes in women can lead to greater water retention, which is reflected in the way you see on this scale. If the number on this scale isn't moving, you may be losing fat mass by holding on to water. Additionally, if you've been working out, you may be gaining muscle and losing fat. When this happens, your clothes may be start to feel looser, especially around the waist, even if the number on this scale remains the same. Measuring your waist with a tape measure and taking monthly pictures of yourself can indicate if you are losing fat, even if the scale number doesn't change much. The second mistake is eating too many or too few calories. A calorie deficit is required for weight loss. This means you need to burn more calories than you consume. For many years, it was believed that a decrease of 3,500 calories per week would result in one pound of fat loss. However, recent research shows the calorie deficit needed varies from person to person. You may sometimes feel as though you are not eating many calories, and this may be the case. However, studies indicate that people often tend to incorrectly estimate the number of calories in a meal. When a study asked adults to exercise in a treadmill, estimate the number of calories they burn, and then suggest a meal with the same number of calories. It found that participants significantly underestimated and overestimated calories in exercise and food. You may be consuming foods that are healthy but also high in calories such as nuts and fish. Eating moderate portion sizes is key. On the other hand, decreasing your calorie intake too much can be counterproductive. Studies on very low-calorie diets indicate they may lead to muscle loss and significantly slow down metabolism. Not exercising or exercising too much is the third mistake in our list. During weight loss, you inevitably lose much muscle mass as well as fat, although the amount depends on several factors. If you don't exercise at all while restricting calories, you are likely to lose more muscle mass and experience a decrease in metabolic rate. By contrast, exercising may help, minimize the amount of lean mass you lose, increase fat loss, and prevent your metabolism from slowing down. The more lean mass you have, the easier it is to lose weight and maintain the weight loss. However, overexercising can also cause problems. The studies show excessive exercise is unsustainable in long term for most people and may lead to stress. In addition, it may negatively impact endocrine hormones, which help regulate functions throughout your body. Trying to force your body to burn more calories by exercising too much is neither effective nor healthy. However, lifting weights and doing cardio several times per week can be a sustainable strategy for maintaining metabolic rate during weight loss. Number 4 is choosing low-fat or diet foods. Proceed low-fat or diet foods are often considered healthy choices that can help you lose weight. However, they may have the opposite effect. Many of these products are loaded with sugar to improve their taste. 
For instance, a 6-ounce counter of low-fat flavored yogurt can contain 23.5 grams of sugar. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends that the 2000 calorie diet include less than 12 teaspoons of added sugar per day. Low-fat products can also make you feel hungrier, so may end up eating more food than your body needs. Instead of low-fat or diet foods, try to choose a combination of nutritious, minimally processed foods. When possible, choose fruits and vegetables. This include canned and frozen varieties, because they are naturally low in fat but also packed with nutrients. Before starting the fifth common mistake, make sure to hit the like button. Now let's jump into number five, which is overestimating how many calories you burn during exercise. Many people believe that exercise supercharges their metabolism. Though exercise increases metabolic rate somewhat, it may be less than you think. Studies show that people with moderate weight and overweight both tend to overestimate the number of calories they burn during exercise, often by a significant amount. People may also overestimate their exercise levels. In one study, 29.1% of participants reported higher physical activity levels than they actually had. Exercise is still crucial for overall health and can help you lose weight. It's good to understand how much exercise you are getting and the number of calories it burns. Number 6 in our list is eating too much fat on a low-carb diet. Ketogenic and low-carb diets can be very effective for weight loss for some individuals. Studies show they tend to reduce appetite, which often leads to a spontaneous reduction in calorie intake. Many low-carb and ketogenic diets allow unlimited amounts of fat, assuming that the resulting appetite supervision will keep calories low enough for weight loss. However, some people may not experience a strong enough signal to stop eating. As a result, they may be consuming too many calories for a calorie deficit. If you are eating large amounts of fat in your food or beverages and are not losing weight, it may help to try reducing your fat intake. Number 7. Eating too often, even if you are not hungry. For many years, the conventional advice has been to eat every few hours to prevent hunger and a drop in metabolism. However, this may lead to consuming more calories than your body needs over the course of the day. You may also never completely feel full. One research review found that eating just two to three meals per day may have outcomes including reduced inflammation and a lower risk of weight gain. The recommendation to eat breakfast every morning Regardless of appetite, also appears to be misguided. One study asked women who didn't usually eat breakfast to add in the meal before 8.30 am for 4 weeks. It found that those who ate breakfast consume more calories each day and gain weight by the end of this study. One of the most common mistakes is having unrealistic expectations. Setting weight loss and other health-related goals can help keep you motivated. However, having unrealistic expectations is common and may work against you. One study found that the vast majority of participants hope to lose more than 10% of their weight, which is the authors labeled as unrealistic. Research suggests that missing weight loss goals is associated with dissatisfaction and future challenges losing weight. If you have a weight loss goal, it may be helpful to choose something practical such as a 5 or 10% drop in weight at the rate of 1 or 2 pounds each week. This may improve your ability to meet your goal while losing weight at a healthy speed. The ninth mistake is not tracking what you eat in any way. Eating nutritious foods is good for your health and for losing weight. However, you may still be eating more calories than your body needs. What's more, you may not be getting the amount of protein fiber, carbs, and fat you need to support your weight loss efforts and your health. Studies show that tracking what you eat can help you get an accurate picture of your calorie and nutrition consumption, as well as provide accountability. One study found that people who like their food once per day lost 0.63% more of their body weight each month than people who like their meals once per month. Those who like meals and workouts more frequently also lost more weight. In addition to food, most online tracking sites and apps allow you to enter your daily exercise. 
Logging each of these areas may give you a better understanding of your overall health. Before starting the last mistake in our video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you found this useful. Now number 10, not eating whole, single ingredient foods. One barrier to weight loss can be eating a lot of highly processed foods. Animal and human studies suggest that processed food may be a major factor in the current high rates of obesity and other health problems. Some researchers believe this could be due to their negative effects on gut health and inflammation. In addition, whole foods tend to be self-limiting, meaning they are harder to overconsume. By contrast, it can be easy to keep eating processed food even when you are no longer hungry. When possible, try to choose whole, single-ingredient foods that are minimally processed. As you know, losing weight and all these problems is a huge word, and what we all mentioned were just a small part of this word. So if you'd like to know more about losing weight and different kinds of exercises, check out this video right now. Take care of yourself, and now up to another video. Peace out.